Good morning. Good morning. I'm Mary. I'm Linda. And we're Pinky Mouse Sisters in the Kitchen. And uh, this morning we're going to be doing uh, some pork loin. And it's actually, I'm doing some pork sausage too with it, with and sweet potatoes. So Sounds yesterday, good. it's pretty good. It's, it's not really something that we eat, normally would normally cook. eat, but um, I found this recipe and I've already tried it and I like sweet potatoes, I you do know, too. and so kind of, it's kind of a sweet, salt, salty and sweet um, dish. So it's pretty good. Um, yesterday, we, of course, we had, uh, yeah, went, to the funeral. went to the funeral. Thank y'all for, um, for commenting and giving us, you know, all your sympathy and, and condolences. Uh, that was yeah. sweet of y'all. We appreciate y'all doing that. Um, so, and we showed downtown, of course, the ones that y'all, ones that missed it, we showed a little bit of downtown and Charles and Linnell. Now, Charles and Linnell spent the night with me last night, and we talked among ourselves and <laughs> was thinking they would still be here this morning and we would get them in on our video. Right. But uh, someone texted him yesterday and warned, warned them, warned Ch Charles to mow their yard today. Charles told him he'd be there around. Of course, noon. he's a pinkster. Yeah, of course so he did. He's going to mow someone's yard. It's an elderly lady, you know, but he just wouldn't turn it down. So, so I fixed some breakfast and we talked a few minutes and then uh, they left. So we don't yeah. have them here today. All right, now this recipe calls for two sweet potatoes. This is I would call this a large sweet potato. In the yes, recipe, I, would too. I said medium. <laughs> But I I got two large. I've already peeled one. Only reason this one's not peeled is because I wanted to show y'all in case you didn't know how well this little I love that I little gadget. Too. You know how sweet potatoes are so hard. Hard as hard everything to peel. To peel yes. Well, I want y'all to know. Watch this. I mean, it is, <laughs> and it peels them thin. I'm a red. I'm telling you, I love this thing. Um, so I just thought I it. I'm sure most of you out there already know this and already have one of these, but it's a pampered chef. They come in a set. Yeah. They come in a set, yeah. You can't buy just the one. But That's right. It comes in the other. Do you ever use those others? I have used them, but the blue one's my favorite. The blue one's my favorite. Yeah, my yep. favorite. Yeah, mine too. And our aunts love them. Yep, because when you got arthritis, you can't hardly hold a knife to peel no, something. No, and it's just... you know. It, I want you to look how thin yeah. these peelings are. Yeah. You couldn't do yeah. that with a knife. Uh -huh. You remember how Molly used to peel things so yeah. thin? Yeah, I know it, but it takes a long time. A lot, lot of patience. patience. All right, I'll put this in the tray. Here, I'll get that. Mary. And I'm going to wash this potato. Uh, anyway, um, so I'm going to dry it too. I don't want no moisture on it. Almost got it all. Yeah. So. And um, now what I've done earlier, and, and um, I didn't put that on the recipe for the members, but um, just rinse that off. Okay, Would you please sure. Well, it might have a little grit on it from, uh, from the potato. I, um, I did this ahead of time. This is uh, pork loin steaks. I saved the, um, the wrapper on it. This is premium pork boneless chops. I normally buy, which I do have a pork loin in the freezer, but I didn't get it out to thaw it out. And I make my own pork uh, chops like this. Just slice you it. You cut them from that's the loin. I, yeah, yeah, that's what I do because of thickness. But I went ahead and bought these. This is boneless chops, and this is 1.42 ounces on this. One pound and a little over is how much this is. You, you buy whatever you want to make in your family and adjust the recipe to that. Um, what I've done with this is I cooked it kind of fast, but I've always been told you cook pork slow. Have you already been told that? You cook beef fast and pork yeah, slow. Yeah, Mike always Have you cooks heard that? everything slow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of like Ma. Yeah, to, I know. Molly. Well, uh, Bobby and I, we hadn't been married that long, and we went to visit uh, one of his uncles, Uncle John, mm -hmm. Aunt Eddie Ruth, and Aunt Eddie Ruth made 
pork that night, pork mm-hmm. steak. It wasn't pork steak. It was pork tenderloin. I know now. I didn't know then what it was called, but it was pork like this. It's thick. Mm-hmm. And she t- she's the one that told me. She said she cooked it a long time. She said, "No, you put you cook pork slow and be fast and be fast." Mm-hmm. And that she told me sense. that, and, and that's what I've always thought. So I cooked this this morning in about a tablespoon of oil. And I browned it. I cooked it kind of fast and got a brown on it. It's got a good sear on it. Yeah. And then I put one cup of water and one teaspoon of chicken base. Okay. You know, I just I just love this chicken base. Yeah, I do too. This is spice ups your dish is so quick. I get this at Sam's. It's chicken base. I use one teaspoon for a half a cup of water. Okay. And I put that in there, turned the burner down, put the lid on the skillet, and then turned it down, and I cooked it for about 15 minutes. That tenderized it. I'm going to cook this again in a minute, but I wanted it to be a little tender. Uh, Yeah, right. And I'll tell you the reason. I cooked this about a month ago. I made this dish, and I, I did not do this. I did it exactly the way it says in the recipe to, uh, just cut it up and cook it in squares in the skill, okay. in the oil. It was okay, but it wasn't as tender as what I it's liked. It's what you it. wanted. So I said this morning, I'm going to get this a little tender before I do that. So I'm going to set this aside now. We're going to cut those potatoes, Linda. Okay, so um, uh, just get whatever knife you want to. You want to get the big one or whatever it, you want to cook with, uh, cut with. Um, let's see, what was it? Oh, uh, butter. That's what I was thinking of. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get two tablespoons of butter and put in the pan. Okay, you tell me how, uh, what size you want these cut. All right. Okay, I'll, I'll cut one to show you. Okay. But I'm putting two tablespoons of butter in my skillet and uh, turn it, just, I turned the burner on low just to start getting it hot. Okay. Okay. All right. I may get a different knife. Uh, Do you want this one? Let me get the uh, utility one. I'll get another one. I don't want to cut my hand. (laughs) No. I'm going to half this sweet potato. Should have got that bigger one. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Because I'm going to cut it in half, and that way your knife will go through it better. Yeah, that's a good idea. Cut it like that. And then... Well, that's the reason I cut it in half. I can yeah. put my hand on top of the blade. And then I'm going to just cut down in the middle and then just cook it in little, and cut it in squares. Okay. Kind of not like chunks, you know, not real small, but yeah, kind of like that, just chunks. Because we want these sweet potatoes to get done. That's how we do it. And, uh, and I love sweet potatoes. Yeah, I do too. It was pretty, the dish was pretty good. I made, like I said, I had, this is not something Do that I... Do these need to be cut again? No, that's, that's just right. And, um, uh, I made a dish, just, I made up a, a recipe one time, um, and I used sweet potatoes and real potatoes. I, uh, mm. rust, rusted potatoes. I, and, but I baked them, but I baked them, I put a lot of, uh, Italians and, um, Spices on yeah. them and baked it in the oven, and that was that was good too. And then when I oh, then when I found this recipe, it was I said that's similar to something I made up not very long mm. ago. So anyway, all right, and I've already cut up an onion. This is just this was a large onion, so I cut. I only used half of it, and I cut it in big chunks. I did not want to use that all of that big onion because I don't want it to be so much onion flavor. Right. So what we're doing now um, is um, the oil. I'm going to turn that up a little bit. Uh, you know what? I was going to do it on the back burner Okay. Uh, because it's a bigger burner than this top one here. I'm going to get that. Get How that. do you want this apple done? Um, Are you going to core it? or uh, I'm going to do it basically like I do this in chunks. Okay. I cooked the apple in the that that I made a, yeah. about a month ago. I didn't really care for it, but I'll go ahead and, and put it in there today. But we'll do that because that's one of the last things we do. Okay. I got we gotta cook the sweet potatoes right, it's and not the onions take long to together. Cook that. Yeah. Yeah. So the uh I, sh- I had the b- wrong burner on. <laughs> anyway, that's a it's tablespoon. Not hot, is it? Well I didn't think about it. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I'm putting the sweet potatoes in there. And I'm putting a little salt on the sweet potatoes. That's Bud. I said, what is that? <laughs> oh, Lordy. Oh. All right. So I'm going to... I got that on high, and I'm going to put these onions. Yeah, I'm cooking the onions and the sweet potatoes together. Where's your apple core at? I mean, the the slice, the core and the slicer. You know, the one that the slices we just got? it. The yeah. one we just got? No. Well, the veggie wedger would be okay. Any of those would be okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll get it. Well, don't. It's not in the kitchen. <laughs> I got it right well, over I'm here, sorry, though. sorry, Mary. I can oh, use something okay. else. I know exactly where it's at. Have you already washed the apple? Yes, I have. Okay. Yes. So it was really a lot of fun seeing our um, cousins yesterday. It was. And it, it was sad, but it was, it just warmed my heart to see how many of our cousins were there. We had what, didn't we, didn't you count? First and second cousins, it was probably over 25 yeah. there. Um, from both sides of the family, yes. the Pinkstons and yes. the Lees. And I was just thinking, you know, most people, when they have get-togethers, funerals, or reunions, and things like that, it's that it's that family, that you're just that family, like the Pinkston family or the Lee family. But you know what? We grew up, the both sides, yes, mama's, mama's uh, uh, sisters and kids, mm -hmm. and the... Um, and daddies, we all grew up together. Yeah. So we, we just, did. I mean, we was like one big family, although it's two sides. Yeah. And um, so uh, I just, um, uh, I just think that's nice that uh, that they, they're both sides of the family yeah. was there. You I know, thought Nathan it was too. Tiny is so good about going to everybody's uh, at any kind of gatherings and things and. Uh, I just, I was so happy to see them yesterday. Yeah, and Randy. Randy yeah, was and there. Randy. And of course, Francis. And Francis. Is a, Francis is on the Pinkston side, and she married right. um, our cousin on the Lee side. So right. we're double first cousins. Yes, yes. And she was there also. Um, I help you do this. You oh, do want the spill, oh, right? That, or do you, you not? You know what? That didn't core. It, it didn't. It, no, it didn't I've core. Got a, I've got a core in I'm there. I'm just going to cut it out. Yeah. Um, I guess I just want to use that, Mary. Well, that's okay. I, I hadn't done an apple with it, and when I made that I apple pie the other day, I used my apple one. Yeah. But I wanted to. Yeah. Those are very handy if you have a lot of children and you're making, giving them apple slices. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Yeah. Saves a lot of time. And they're all the same size? Yes. Do you need to check some? And sizes. Yeah. They want. Let me yeah. get my bowl back over here. <laughs> Hers is bigger than mine. <laughs> this is, I yes. just love this little bowl. I know, I do too. So, I'm, I'm peeling this with this big knife and I'm not getting it as thin as what I would if I should have got my peeler. But these, I'm just going to, the little uh, the chunks, I'm just going to do them in half. Okay. The, the potatoes, uh, I mean the uh, apple, um, they don't, um, when I made them the other day, I did them in slices. Did you? Yeah. They didn't get done as fast as what I thought they should have. But, yeah, I really enjoyed seeing everybody. It made me want to have a family reunion. Me too. And Seen it was so just, many cousins. I, I just thought it was so sweet. That, Mary, right. is Lewis and, and his wife, her name's Judy, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Are they retired? Because this was on a... This was on I, a weekday. I'm pretty sure they are. I'm pretty sure and they are. And how many do y'all think was there? Oh. At the funeral? Yeah. The I, place was packed. I, I'm going to do oh, my wow. guess, but I want to see how close I am to what y'all think, how many oh, y'all think goodness. was there. Well, let's I'm see, because at the I last minute, you know how everybody... 150 in the building? Yeah. What do you think, Mary? Well, I'm trying to think, Linda. Um... Yeah, it probably was close to 150. What do you think? I told Mike about 125, but okay. Now, okay. I probably didn't count everybody. So because it was, a lot of people a lot sit of people in the back, in the in yeah. the back or in the vestibule. Yeah. And you know, they are there are. Um, I say men, and I'm not trying to single out one gender or the other, but there are a lot of men that will go to something. Paulie was like that. Yeah. Yeah. But they don't actually go inside. Yeah. Yeah. They're there but right. you know, for support. But yeah. um 
I'm going to cut uh, these a little smaller because okay. I want them to get done. Do you want this other knife? No, I, I, mm -mm, it wasn't that many. Um, Just one apple is not much. But, and there was, for those of you who don't know, when an older person dies, because there's so many of that person's friends yeah. and relatives have already passed on, there's not many people at the funeral. No, I know. And yeah. they commented on that yes. in the funeral, how that uh, at her age, 91, to have yeah. that many people come, it was, was yes, right. it was, right. it was really amazing. Of course, everybody in probably three or four counties around, and not just that, because I think Lucy was from down around Liberty and, uh, is Conroe? Liberty, or, uh, Con Liberty City is where she's from. Dayton, Dayton, Dayton. Liberty City yeah. and Dayton. Right. And of course, they knew people all over Texas, because and James, James was so friendly yeah. to everybody. He run a gas station. Yeah. That's back when they had full service. Swept I mean, your floorboard, yes. checked yep. the oil, all the fluids, yep. cleaned your windshield wiper, yep. all while the, he was pumping right. gas. That's exactly. what Uncle James did. Yep. And I mean, that was just, that was something that the service stations did back then. But right. he went a lot further right. than some of them did. Because exactly. he, he really gave you full service when you stopped at his station. And um, uh, I was I was very happy, and Aunt Lucy would have been happy oh, too. Oh yeah, oh yeah. She would have been happy. And the cemetery is rock. It's red. It's down in that area. There's a lot of sand in East Texas. Where we lived in Nacogdoches on Lunaville Road, it was sand. Mm -hmm. um, ruined to many a linoleum because the sand <laughs> wears it out. Yeah. But um, which knife do you want, Mary? It doesn't matter. Um, but down around Sharina and past Sharina 95 by Paul Mall's Mall farm, mm -hmm. it's red clay. I know. But the cemetery is, it is rocks. Right. And I mean big rocks. Yes. There was a rock there that they, they broke their they broke blade the bucket. of the, tra the bucket mm -hmm. of the tractor. Mm -hmm. And uh, when daddy, at daddy's funeral, they had to dynamite his. They did. They did. I hope they don't dine, have to dynamite that. I hope they I don't. I hope they don't either it's because it's right I'm next to Mama. Yeah, because yeah, it's, I know. It's, because right it's right there next to Mama. Yeah. When they did Daddy's, it wasn't nobody else except Clifford and, yeah. and yeah. Pink Mom. Them. Not Pink Mom. No, it was Clifford. It was just Clifford. Sure. Yeah. Clifford was the only yeah. only one they there. Right. Not necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what James said. He said, "Well, it, James said James said James is uh, is Aunt Lucy's uh, son, and he said, well, it looks like they uh, if that's their business, they ought to know what they're doing. <laughs> they ought to knew that, but um, they uh, they don't encounter all is uh, having that kind of. I mean, it's on a hill, and it is not. It's no. rock." I'm just cutting these into little chunks, bite-sized chunks. And there was a lot of uh, construction on 21. Right. 21 runs east and west. And um, Charles mentioned this yesterday. I don't think he said this on live. Okay. Um, I'm just going to put this in here because I'm going to Okay. Put it, uh, put, Our daddy our helped work on some of them bridges yeah. that they are now replacing. Right. Yep. Oh, wow. Yep. And, I, you know, I had forgot about that, and Charles reminded us yesterday of it. And those bridges have been there all of right. our life because right. we were little kids right. when they built the right. new road, which now is, you know, really old. I'm, but, also, uh, uh, I'm sorry, that, That's okay, Mary. I'm just talking. I'm also putting uh, smoked sausage. Um, it's skinless pork and turkey sausage in here. And I say I kept them in the wrapper so I could show y'all. Um, it's skinless uh, smoked sausage. I'm going to put some of them in there. And I'm just going to... My glasses has got where they've fallen down on me. I'm going to cut the ends of these off. Now the ones that I bought when I did that the other day, they was turkey and pork. But um, I, I took the skin off it. I guess I must not bought skinless, but I took the skin <laughs> off that that I bought the other day. But you can chop one up, Linda. Okay, just too. about just uh, like disc. Just yeah, just like this, uh, just a bite. Okay. And uh, and we'll put all that in there in a few minutes. And it's a lot of meat. 
Looks like good sausage. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty good. It, and it's already cooked, so it's not like in my pork. Yeah. I already uh, in my uh, pork loin. I've already got that cooked, so it's not. They don't have to stay in the on the burner long. It's just heating it up. I'll take them ends and throw them away. Oh, I'll give them to Einstein. Feel like that? Yeah, he would. Yeah. And um, Carla, do you want to show them this over here? This. Now, like I said, um, you can you can you can put this on a baking sheet. And bake it. And bake it in the oven. I'm just speeding it up. That's it would have <laughs> it would have took longer. What did I do? There. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry right about on that. The edge. Okay, well, that would have been a mess. <laughs> 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 anyway, uh, them sweet potatoes. It won't take them long. It doesn't take up sweet potatoes yeah. long to cook yeah. as long as you've got them, you know, yeah. chopped, chopped like yeah. this. So I'm going to finish cooking them a few minutes. And after the um, the um, sweet potatoes get almost tender, not all the way because you've got to cook a little right. bit longer on this. And uh, then I'm going to put um, a, a half a cup of sweet and sour sauce. Okay, sweet and sour. I thought that was barbecue sauce. Mm -mm, it's sweet and sour sauce. Okay. You know, you probably could. I mean, I, but it's the sweet potatoes. See, yeah, it's kind it's of a, a little. This is kind of a salty, sweet and salty yeah. dish. So it's pretty good. I, I, I well, like it. They're my favorite. It. Is that right? Yeah. Scott, it's not called Chinese, but it's but it's kind of sweet and salty. I know. Yeah, yeah kind of. So, leans in that. And it's mostly done when you put the sauce in there. It's just flavoring it. Now, together. do you serve this over anything? No. Or just it's a dish. I just, I didn't serve it with okay. anything. Now, you got your vegetables, you got your dish. I did put a few Irish potatoes in that. I did. <laughs> I did. <do. laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one that adds or takes away. <laughs> Everything, I think they pretty well know me, but now, uh, I hardly ever cook the same thing twice, uh, the si exactly the same way. I'll say, well, that was good, but what this other tastes uh, good with it, too, yeah. so I'll throw that in there. See, that's the thing when you're used yeah. to cooking. You're right. like, you get this whim of, at the last minute, and you want to do something different. So I made something. What was it? About a month ago. Oh, I know what it was. And I am going to do it on camera one day if I can remember what I've done. I forgot to write it down. That was chicken noodle soup. That was the it best. It looked delicious. That was the best chicken noodle soup. I think I, I think I can remember. It was really good. Uh, but I just kept adding stuff. I just kept adding stuff. And Linda came and I thought, you know what? This is probably sound good. This probably <laughs> tastes good. I was just putting all kind of things in it. And it was good. What was that you see? Oh, that was that pot pie. I never, uh, I did that. Who did I make that for? Chuck and I made one for Scott. Oh yeah, that was our ladies' conference. I made a chicken. I was going to make a chicken pot pie for the ladies at church, and I knew it was going to take a lot. Mm -hmm. So I said, and it's going to take a lot of crust. That's what you know. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to make a chicken pot soup. <laughs> I well, that, that was a good idea. Yeah, Everybody. Really so what did Scott good. think about it? He loved it. <laughs> I figured that. Yeah. And I, so I made a soup out of chicken pot. Out of, it's basically the same thing. Deconstructed. But I just had pie. more broth in it and more uh, milk. More, and no crust. And no crust. And it was good. I, it, know I it made was. a. I made two. Huge uh, that nine quart bowl yeah. and the five quart. Oh my goodness! I made that's how much soup I made. There was so much food in this kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, it kept growing. Yeah. <laughs> Multiplying. Oh, you know how Jesus multiplies. Yeah. I was thinking, my mom kind of does that too. <laughs> I made so much of that soup. She really did. But mm. I. But everybody at church got got the ladies. You know, a, a few of them took some home. I actually brought the the uh, five quart home with me. I could, I could have given it all away to the ladies because they were they was filling their cups, you know, and taking it home with them, and they didn't get as much as what they normally would. But I told them, I said, you know what? I'm taking that pot home with me, the five quart, because I was thinking about taking it to the funeral. Yeah. I was actually going to take it to Eva Joe. That's what I was going to do. Yeah. And I got to thinking, 
I'm going to be wore out if I make that trip down there and back. So yeah. what I've done, I have these tall containers I buy at the Dollar Tree, and that comes two in a pack. Yeah. And I, that's what I give people, food in, soup and stuff. So I know two ladies that would love to have some soup. So I cared them. And fix it for them. So I cared them some soup. And then Carla, she, her... And me and her, the Chuck, we've been yeah. we eat all didn't we? Didn't I came we? home and ate more. Yes, yeah. really mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Is that good? I think it sounds like it's okay. I know it was good. They had a lot of food at the uh, funeral. Yes, at the uh, church sure yesterday, did. they didn't good they? Too. Good. Yep. Well, what about the pies? The ladies that brought the pies. Oh, did y'all see them? I tried to stay away from that table. <laughs> Did you I wish see you hadn't asked me that. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. Plead the fifth, right? That was a round table discussion on that pie. I had to get one. Uh, I'm not going to be ugly about them. <laughs> the filling was good. The filling was good. But they just wasn't ours. Yeah. I, I the crust was like a biscuit. You know, it was, okay. it was, it was thick. And it wasn't crunchy. It was like filling inside a biscuit. Okay. I, I mean, you know, and, and and some people might like that, you know, but we just, that's just not the way we, we do them. Right. But the, the coconut, the filling was good. The was filling it? was good. I didn't taste it, the chocolate. I forgot to ask Linnell, but that was nice of those ladies. It was to very make those. nice. It was, it was very, very nice, nice of, them. of them ladies to do that. It's just, you know, just wasn't what we do. Yeah. I made the... Um, I forgot to check on your chicken, that fork. Sorry about that. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I was going to test these taters. She usually does that with a knife. <laughs> I know. I know. We talk with our hands, y'all. Yeah, we do. I uh, do the same thing. The people at the church, I mean, they just really had lots of it. We cared some things, too. Yes. And um, my broccoli and rice casserole, um, they was warming it when I was going through the yeah. line, and so. But I went back up there. I said, "You know what? I didn't taste that. You know how I always want to taste. It wasn't a drop of drop I of it, it. They probably <laughs> they probably that. scraped the barrel on thing. that. And uh, but they had they had lots of food, and it was so nice. And uh, we sang a song for Aunt Lucy. Oh, uh, uh, William wanted to. I sing. left from the um, from the graveyard and went home because it takes me hour and 15 minutes longer to get home than it does marrying them so and i honestly didn't get home we got home about the same time and i, I don't know I how know. but know. Uh, but we did but yeah. anyway uh that's why i didn't go back to the church um uh, myself but nice we got to church. visit a yes, long time before the funeral yes we did we had a nice which was visit. very nice right. So I think we can go ahead and add these now. This is okay. the apple in the port loin because I stuck them and they and they're um a little tender. And that's all it takes because I'm going to be cooking them some more. The apple and the meat. I'm sorry there. Thank you. You're welcome. And then the sausage. It's a pretty big dish, isn't it's it? It's a pretty big dish. Yeah. That's why I'm using this big old pan here. I, d I love the, th the, the depth of this, pan, of this pan. Yeah, I do too. It's a, you don't have to worry about spilling right. over. I'm going to try to. You know what? I'm using a spoon. I'm going to get a spatula. And um, yeah. I used the one I, this morning. It's in the dishwasher. in the dishwasher. <laughs> I'm gonna get the potatoes off the bottom because I want the meat to warm up. And that's all basically it is. It's just uh, warming it up, the meat, and it won't take long. It's a big dish. All right, I'm gonna put the lid back on it. And when do you put the sauce in it? Right at the last. Oh minute? well, oh, I forgot to put it in there now. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. You're welcome. <laughs> this is a half a cup of sweet and sour sauce. And you know what? I may... Would you give me that little spatula, Linda, please? Oh, sure. Like, Carla, yeah. you want to show them what this looks like? I may put some more sweet and sour. That's the first one I saw, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. I may add a little more sweet and sour sauce because those potatoes... Okay, so we, don't, we won't wash this just yet, then. No. That looks so good. Yeah, I'm going to put a little more sweet and sour sauce in this. Um, here. I'm going to probably put about a fourth of a cup more. You got a pretty big skillet full there. Yeah, this is just sweet and sour sauce. Malt. Yeah, because this is a... Um, 
a lot of meat and a lot of food and I wanted to I wanted to more or less coat it yeah I'm, I'm probably through with that Linda okay I just want it kind of coated and I'm gonna turn this burner down to medium it's almost like a glaze isn't yeah. it yeah yeah It does smell good. All those different flavors. Yeah. yeah. That looks like a nice fall fall yeah. dish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure does. I got one of my fall dishes out this morning. I had, you know, I'm trying to cool down on some of my cook my stuff um, dishes and things, and I thought you can't get I rid of all get, that. <laughs> I don't want to get rid of that. <laughs> She's actually got rid of stuff and went and bought more, and I've done I the same it. thing. I know it. I'm gonna wipe this counter off right here. Um, and uh, so I, uh, I'm not gonna get rid of that dish, and I hadn't used a dish in a long, long time. Uh, but uh, anyway, it'll be. Do you want the dish? Yeah, here? you can go ahead and put the dish up here if you don't mind, Linda, because uh, I'm just gonna time it probably about, and I'm gonna cook that about it about five more. About well, ten minutes is what I got on the on the. Uh, instructions we might not cook it quite 10 minutes and but, uh, Shirley and did I say Shirley and Dee and his wife did yeah, I say I don't think that, that they were that, there they was there I was glad to see them yeah we just really need to have too. a Pinkston reunion and we we had a lot of um, people that watch us mm -hmm. that was there mm -hmm. um, that was some of us was not kin to us but was kin yeah. to Aunt Lucy on, yeah. on her side of the family right. and um, sweet sweet ladies yes and uh, some gentlemen too and then the people in Nacogdoches that saw us when we were mm -hmm. they kept looking at us and we were standing <laughs> out there so I just started waving and she rolled down her window hi Linda hi Mary I thought that was so cool yeah, yeah. it was well it happened last yeah, time yeah every time we're in Nacogdoches yeah. somebody yeah. does that yeah. so yeah they do um uh, that uh, it was really nice seeing all the cousins and everything it makes me want to Visit with the mower more, it does. more it often. Does. It's you know? sad. Literally that had to be drug out of there. I know what they was all. <laughs> Everybody were, in our group was in the car waiting. And waiting on me. <laughs> they come and they remind you of. <laughs> they they was uh, calling me on the phone and yeah. come in there and said, "Mary, that we're waiting on you in the car." <laughs> well, it was people asking me questions. I didn't know what to. I didn't walk off. It was a new lady there that had heard about us, and she wanted me to show her how to find our page. I was trying to show her that, and then Bill came up, and, and she, he was talking to me, and I was trying to get out, you know, but I was yeah. just trying to get make my way to the door, and it was just people stopping me, so. Um. And in case y'all haven't already figured this out, which, you know, hello, I'm sure all of you have. My sister, of course, Charles is the oldest on both sides of the mm -hmm. family. Mary's the next. Is Daryl next? It's Daryl. Is, 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 is Charles, Daryl, and then you? Charles, Daryl, and me, and then William, and you. And me. Okay. So we are the oldest yeah. on the Pinkstons and the, the oldest on the Lees, too. Right. It's, yeah, Charles. But everybody has always looked. Now, now, Mama, our house on Lunaville Road was Grand Central Station. Everybody came to our house. Mm -hmm. They knew they were always welcome. But Aunt Elsie's house was also a gathering yes. place. Yes, yes. Everybody always felt welcome. You right. never had to call ahead of time and say, is it okay if we come? Yeah. You know, you didn't right. have to call and make Just a play date in. like yeah. people do today. Well, Aunt Laverne, well, Aunt Faye, you know. Well, everybody. Aunt, Aunt Lucy, that's you know? how it's always been Aunt with Lucy, our family. Yeah. Oh. But everybody looks to Mary like that. They always know that they're always welcome, you know. How many times have, have people just, they just show up yeah. because well, they know they Lewis are welcome. Judy said, they might come see me sometimes. And I said, I would love that. Shorty said, I want y'all to come and eat some barbecue ribs. She said, he said, he got a new grill. He said, y'all come in and let me know and I'll fix y'all some barbecue ribs. That you would know? be so, that's Mary Sue's husband. Yeah. That's another one of yeah. our cousins. So, I mean, it's just, it's just our we we grew up together you know and they just now that everybody's retiring they think let's get back together you know and, yeah. and visit more it's um it was it was really really a nice day you know aside from the fact that it was it was a funeral it was it was a yeah. good time yes. to, to be together and even the speaker talked and made everybody laugh at some of the things that Aunt yeah. lucy done Aunt lucy and was she was uh 
uh, she wanted well, I, she just wanted things her way, and she didn't mind telling you, you know. Yep. Well, you remember what I was saying yesterday when we was downtown Nacogdoches? I said Aunt Lucy was the fun aunt. Then yeah. he said yes. some, one, yes. some of the same things yeah. that I had already yeah. said. Yeah, that's true. I remember when um, they were all at the house years ago. It was uh, it was Aunt Elsie and Mama and Aunt Lucy. It was whole car load. load. It might have been Aunt Faye and Aunt Laverne too, but. They were all in the car ready to go, and Aunt Lucy was still out there talking to us. <laughs> and they kept saying, come on, Lucy, come on, Lucy. And she was she wouldn't get in the car. It was uh, hilarious. Uh -huh. It was so funny. And something else I thought about Aunt Lucy, um, uh, you know, they live beside us, and she sewed, and she is a, was an excellent yeah, seamstress. Yeah, she was. And she uh, sent one of the kids running out to, to our house as, for mother and said, go get Hazel, go get Hazel. She run a needle through all her the hand. way through her yeah, finger. Yes. And of course, we went. I did, I know I went out the there. The pliers probably pulled it out. And, and uh, Mama went out there and took that needle out of her finger. It didn't stop her. She sewed the rest of the day. It, she just took that needle out and and. Yeah. Uh, well, we didn't go to the doctor. No. Huh. I got scars on my hands from slamming. It, all the kids got their hands slammed in the car door. Uh, isn't that the truth? And the car doors it, probably weighed. Somebody said the other day probably weighed as much as a whole car does now. Probably every cousin we had at one time or another had their car door slammed yep. on. Their finger. I wonder why we done that. How, I don't. I don't know how we done. It. It's wonder it didn't break our I hands. Know, I know. And then I've got a big gash on my knee where we were out there in the field beside yeah. the house. Yeah. And it was Aunt Lucy's kids and yeah. us, and we were running and playing. Yeah. And Mama kept telling. It was almost dark, and she kept telling us to quit running. Of course, you know we kept running. We were kids, and I fell, and there must have been a piece of glass in the ground, and I cut my knee. So I have a I have a scar about this long on it. They didn't yeah. take me to the doctor. No, no, we, you know we didn't go. We just, I just bandaged you up, and, right? You know, go on. <laughs> I think I, this is cooked about five done. minutes, yeah, okay? Because it was all so near done. And look, this is our, our new little handle. Do you do that? I leave it on there on the pot. I hadn't tried it, but you said it didn't yeah. get hot. No, fill of it. Yeah, I know. I touched it. Well, go. It's not so because that keeps you from grabbing a pot holder or something, yeah. and uh, just you because that That's very handy. because yeah. it yeah. is hot if, hey, if you I don't put some. some of them. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think those All are right. great stocking stuffers. Yeah, no joke. All right. Great idea. Okay, here. Bring, give me the bow, okay. if you don't mind, Linda. I don't mean to be so bossy, but this skillet, <laughs> this skillet is too heavy for me to pick up with all this food. You can't in it. pick it up with one end and dish with no. the other. It's too much. It's too hard. So it's beautiful. The queen of improvised. Yep, mm -hmm. I, you do that. Everybody, when you get where you can't do it, you you find a way. That's right. Ooh, that smells so good, Mary. You want me to put it? You want to put it down now? Is it getting no, too heavy no, for I'm you? No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's a beautiful dish, too. I'm using this scoop. It's working out fine. I probably can put it in there now. Okay. This is our new skillet. And y'all, and remember, I didn't cut those onions in little pieces. I kept them in chunks. Basically, everything in here is in chunks. About the same size. Yeah. 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 All right. That's about as long as I can hold that skillet. <laughs> uh, all right. Mm. That's got a does it, great does taste, it taste to it. Good? Yeah, it's delicious. Got to can get a picture, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Got an onion in there. Well, <laughs> I got a fork over here. This is gonna. This is gonna be a good recipe. Yeah. That looks really delicious. Okay. All right. All the fall colors. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. It looks beautiful right. in that dish too. Do you want a taste of it now? I just want just a tiny taste. Well, we of gonna it. we gonna need some of it, so. Sure am. <laughs> well, I ate breakfast, but um, I do want a taste of it. Here's your fork. You want a? I want a sweet potato. Yeah. Me too. And I wanna. I'm gonna taste it. And you know what? That apple is done. Yep. Yep. Because you don't want it. You don't want to cook it so long that it goes to smush. smush. Is that how you say it? Mush. <laughs> mush. Mush. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. It's hot. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, thank you, Lord. So good to us. It's got texture, and I like that. Mm -hmm. It's not It's mm -hmm. not cooked all mm -hmm. the pieces. Mmm. Hot. <laughs> Those onions gave it a really good mm -hmm. flavor, Mary. Mm -hmm. 
Really good. Y'all got to make this. This is delicious. You don't want to cut the onions too small. Uh, to put too much. I said in the recipe, a, a small, dish, a small, color. it is, that's beautiful. Small onion, great for dinner guests. it was a big onion, but I just used half of it. You mm -hmm. don't want the onion to overpower your food. So anyway, it's very good. It's very good. Um, we got some announcements to make. We got, yes. um, oh, it's next week is apron. Isn't it next week, the last week of the month? Next week is the last week of the month. I don't, I don't know. Is is a week from Friday the first? I'm not sure. I have to look on a calendar. It's Saturday. Saturday is the first. So it would week be the Saturday. following week that we would draw. We would draw in October. Okay. Right. The first Tuesday in October we'll draw. But for you to post your September birthday start right. next week. Oh, start yes. Monday. Yes. I'm sorry. I know what yeah. you're saying Start now. posting your birthdays on 903-235-4804. If you've had a September birthday, start that text only, text only, starting Monday of next week. So that's the apron uh, giveaway. Now we've got some announcements of where we're going to be. Yes. First um, one is October. The 22nd, right? Yes. October the 22nd, we're going to be at Bear Creek Smokehouse in, out, outside of Marshall, Texas. And if you want to attend, we're going to be doing a meet and greet. Yes. If you want to attend, call this. Uh, don't call. Text the same number two three nine zero three two three five four eight zero four, and tell me how many is in your party. Right. Uh, we've got be from ten to twelve uh, uh, Central Time. Yeah, yeah. on October twenty second. We've already got quite a few people that has that yes. I've got their names down, and uh, some of them, some of you didn't put your name, but you said party of four, party of, yes. of uh, three, or whatever. So, uh, which is fine. Uh, we just need kind of a head count yes. about how many is going to be there. Um, we the the Bear Creek Smokehouse is uh, they have they cook and serve there. They have on um, the big fire pit, a huge fire pit. So you can purchase your meal if you want to there. Right. Um, after, uh, you know. From uh, them. From yeah. them. From them. We will have a, a drawing yeah. for the people that are present. We're going to try our best to do a live at the, at, you know, if part can, of it. Right. If the, if the signal is good enough, we're going to. We're going to need to go over there and practice one day to see if we can figure out with your um, yeah. monitor or whatever, with your, um, what do you call that thing? Portable. Portable. Uh, portable uh, internet. Wi-Fi. So, anyway, we would love for y'all to come. If you're able, I know most, a lot of our followers are just all over. I know. And not able to come, and that's okay. That's okay. We'll, um, we'll try to put as much as we can on video. And what else was we going to Well, we're going to uh, be in announce? Denton um, in November the, is it the 9th? 10th. Or 10th. I believe it's the 10th. It's on um, Thursday. And the, the, the one at the church, I believe, is closed, but we are going to have a, um, we're going to have a meet and greet that next day, which is on a Friday, and we'll be giving you information about where we'll, we'll be at. We're going to be speaking at the First Baptist Church in Sherman uh, uh, on the 10th. Yeah, did I say Denton? I probably did. <laughs> this is Sherman. And um, in case y'all don't know, they're close together, yeah, and I just are. Denton, yeah, Sherman. Same area. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and you know why I can remember Sherman? Because that's where my pastor's from. Sherman. Oh, okay. He was... That yeah. Now. yeah, he was right. he was raised there across the railroad track. Where yeah. that's at in Sherman. Okay, and um, so that's why I can remember because you know my memory very good, but I can remember that. <laughs> so, and then we're going to be at Linnell's birthday party on the second. Right. That's that's very just a few sense. days. Yeah. Our children is um, giving Linnell October seventy uh, fifth yes. birthday, October the second. Mm -hmm. Yes, and so we'll be there. And, um, of course, a lemon reunion. I'm not going to stay all week this week. I'll be there uh, at least one day. And I don't, know if, I don't know if I'll be there two days or not. But I'm not going to stay. It's just too hard on me. It's just too yeah. hard. So. Anyway. And busy, too. We're so busy. Yes, yes. So um, we hope that you enjoy this um, recipe. Try it. It is good. And... Um, and we'll be on tomorrow in some capacity. We don't yeah. know yet. We're waiting on a phone call back. We may be out and about. We may be cooking. But um, we will be on um, At 10. somewhere Yeah, around 10 o'clock yeah. tomorrow. We don't know yet about 
the, the out and about would yeah for sure because we don't know what time they'll be open where we want right. to go. So, but um, y'all see us on sometimes tomorrow, <laughs> Lord willing. We gonna get together tomorrow Keep for sure. Watch out. <laughs> yeah. Catch them. <laughs> Thank y'all so much uh, for uh, all your comments, all your stars that you give us. We hardly ever mention that, but we see we that. We do, and we appreciate we it. We appreciate that so much, and all your comments, all your love, all your uh, condolences, and. Um, it's just, I just think we got the best, I do best too. people in the world. When we're out and about and we meet, we meet some of y'all, it's just, yes. it's almost overwhelming, it you is. know. It our, is. our cousin William, he's yeah. so funny, he comes <laughs> up to me yesterday, I can I get your autograph? <laughs> He said, are you, are you even going to say that you know me? That's what he told me, too. Yeah. He said, well, I didn't know if you'd even speak to me or not. <laughs> I said, William, you know better than that. I'm so proud of them. I am, I mean, too. they're just every one too. of them. You have to realize, and I know we're closing, but a lot of our cousins and, and Uncle Buddy's boys were four of them. They were at our house every weekend yeah. almost in fact yeah, we daddy fixed that <laughs> yeah you know, daddy fixed that loft up there in our house yes uh, and yeah. put three beds up there yeah. so we had more room for cousins <laughs> to sleep so yeah. um they're like our brothers and yeah, sisters you are. know i love that yeah. i do too it's kind of rare these yeah. days yeah yeah I know. it is I know. but anyway i could keep talking but thank y'all again uh we love y'all and uh we'll see y'all tomorrow yes Thank y'all. Don't forget to count your blessings. Bye-bye.